Dooby dooby doo. Do you take the red pill or do you take the blue pill? You know, I got my two hands out and like there's a there's a red pill in my right hand because the right hand would be the red pill, okay? Because Jesus is at the right hand of the Father, right? So it's the matrix, okay? The matrix is real, okay? And um, you got on the right hand, you got Jesus, which is the red pill, and you could take him and you could be safe forever. Or it's the blue pill. You choose Satan and you're done. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah, it's really simple. Hey, guys, how you doing? What's up, everybody? Um, so the channels are created. Um, when we do a stream, it's going to be multi-streamed uh, on each channel we got. So uh, we set up a YouTube as well. Um, we'll see what happens with that. But um, yeah, we're going to be playing games on it and uh, reviewing true crime stuff and shit like that, you know. So uh, here's a situation that I have for you today, guys. And I love you. You know, there's there's a lot of nice people out there. And I appreciate Shani's audience because you guys are really cool. You're nice. Um, it's a different... We are already in the Matrix. Life is weird. Yeah, that's right, wise guy. I believe in the Matrix completely. You know what I mean? That simulation, like, this is a table, but it's not solid. It's really crazy. Yeah, we're back on Twitch, wise guy. Yeah, we are. Uh, our channel name is, is Crime and Games. Crime and Games. So uh, we'll be doing stuff on there, and maybe we'll see you. It's cool that you've been in here a couple times, wise guy. You know, I haven't seen it. What's the channel name on YouTube? It's the same. It's Crime crime and Games. That's our. That's going to be our new brand is Crime and Games. And it's literally gaming and reviewing like true crime stuff on Twitch. Got it. That's right. Yep. Twitch. That's right. You got that's right, wise guy. Yep. So we'll be doing stuff on there. And we'll, uh, God, I just pray to Jesus that he let, just let us have a channel and do some content. And we don't even, we're not even worrying about you guys reviewing it. You know, it's like, I, that's cool. Thank you, Blingin' Things 2021. Thank you. No problem. Wise guy. We, you guys are great. See, this is the type of stream that I'm not stressed out and going nuts over because I, it's nice. You guys are cool, you know? So... Here's the situation I got tonight, and I, look, I hate doing streams like this. I'm going to be straight up with you, okay? I hate doing, so. I guess I got an excuse to get by, back on Twitch. Dude, I'm telling you, the reason Shani got banned is insane and stupid. Okay, we didn't, this is how poor we are, okay? I got like, this is the last little bit of diluted Snapple. I get this is it looks like almost like watery piss, you know, but I'm drinking it because hey. Hey, what's up, uh Chiabusa Moon? Chia bu Chia Moon. Wow, that's I'm trying. Sorry. Here's a situation we got. We didn't do us we were gonna yeah, it is it was stupid, right? I'm telling you, me and Shanny tonight, or just uh, probably a couple hours ago when we were making everything, you know, work. We were setting all, thing, all the things up. There was a stream of a woman, and she was in leggings, okay? She was in leggings. But her butt, it was like right in the camera. She's one, I guess she's a very popular streamer. She had like 2,000 people in her. Hey, trying to figure out how to follow on kick. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'll get back to you guys on that stuff. I'm not sure. Hi, Gucci Trolls. It's good to see you. You're always here, too. So... We're on Twitch and we're setting stuff up and we see this stream from this chick and I didn't even look at the name. But but she's laying out on a couch deal and she's in leggings and her she's it's that shot. You know, the, the, the porn chicks do that, that shot all the time. Their butt is like, it's like this, right? Like I can't do it because, but yeah, that's my butt. She's like this on the camera and it literally looked like she was nude and you could almost see her, her female parts, man. Now, come on, okay? What happened with Shani was literally, you maybe have seen a, a, the upper part of her leg at most. And they took her channel for that. That woman that's doing a stream with 2,000 people in it looks like she's nude, period. 
and she's turning around looking at the looking she's got tattoos on her and shit and she's looking at the camera talking i'm not against that at all i'm for it as a matter of fact okay i'm not against it's kind of sex work kind of i'm pro sex worker and all that stuff okay i'm not saying she should be gone i'm saying shanny shouldn't be gone because what happened with her was so minor it was it was insane it was so stupid and 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 the paycheck from that was good man she was getting a good, we were getting a good paycheck from that. But it's these trolls, they come along, they go, oh, here's an opportunity. It was a little butt meat, maybe. Let's go mass flag the channel for nudity, and it works. Shani didn't intentionally try to flag, exactly. It's just the haters. That's right, wise guy. You couldn't see anything. She had clothes on. There's no reason for the ban. Thank you. Thank you. That's validating, and I need stuff like that because it's really – I, my mind has been so bad, guys. I'm not going to talk about it, but I, I, I talk to my therapist about it. I need a psychiatrist. None of the psychiatrists around here take Medicaid at this point. It's insane. But thank you for the validation because it really – it makes me so angry to see these girls that I'm for it. I, yeah, she was sleeping. That's right. She was sleeping. We were. It was. We we just did a sleep stream because it is. It can be profitable. People watch that. Even there's an audience for everything on streaming, literally. So it's it's like she needs to dress like a nun for this for these, these people. It's really ridiculous. Wise guy is right. That's correct. Like why? Because she has big boobs. Like they try that, that. I mean, on YouTube, it was like there was that stuff too. It's because like she wears something and then he, she's got some cleavage. It's like, oh, flag it. Wait, excuse me. There's tons of people that are streaming that strictly do it for the way they look. Okay, they just sit there. They don't even. They barely talk. They'll they'll talk to the chat and flirt and stuff like that. But they just they're just on there because they're hot. And that, I'm for that. That's awesome. That's cool. Do it and be a millionaire because most of them probably are. That's incredible. If they don't like Shani, then they shouldn't watch, period. Thank you, Gucci Trolls. That's right. That's what Brett Keen used to always say. Whatever you think about Brett Keen, I mean, you know, blessings to Brett Keen. It's crazy, okay? There's a little X on your browser, okay, or in your app. Do you know how to close your app when you're watching a video? If you don't like someone... Either back out of the video, close the app, and find somebody you like. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? There's plenty of people out there to watch. Lots. So I ranted on that. I'll, I'll leave that at that. But here's the situation I got. And, and I this has been a fun stream so far, but this is where it comes where I don't like it. Shani's sick. And she's, she's got like a fever. Absolutely, a fever. So I'm trying to get her some medicine. So if you guys could help out in any way, um, my I could put my PayPal stuff in here. I'll do the. I don't want to move the phone. Our PayPal's are in the the PayPal, the Venmo, and the Cash App is in there. So anything that you guys could give, it doesn't matter if it's a buck or, or fifty cents, whatever you can help us out with, because I, I'd like to get her some like Tylenol PM and and a few other things to to calm her down. You know what I mean? So I'm looking at like, I want to get around 40 bucks if that's possible, just, and I'm going to be walking the Quins, which, you know, it's around, it's going around. Just get, get over being real sick. You just got over being real sick. Gucci trolls. Yeah. Uh, they're talking about some kind of tridemic. What the hell is a tridemic? So it's like three, three different strains of, of COVID or something it's like split like and now we're gonna have three different strains of a uh, whatever i don't know about this stuff guys i really don't if it's if it's for real real then it's like the seal of revelations opened or something like they they release some bad stuff if it's real. i don't know i got covid i'm pretty sure i got it back in 2019 20 yeah 2020 whatever uh for me, it was like just a basic flu. Um, my smell is messed up and my taste is messed up, definitely. But the overall consequences, I don't, I didn't see it. 
but I know a lot of people have suffered and have absolutely died of, of this stuff. So I'm not anti-mask. I'm not like that, you know. Uh, do I believe that it infringes on your constitutional rights to force a person to wear a mask? Yes, I do. But here's the thing. Here's the thing with the mask. You have to put other people's interests. You have to, you have to not only have your own interests, but other people's interests as well. And the fact of the matter is, is that masks can be effective in preventing disease. It's just that simple. So the way I handled it, okay, there were a few times I didn't feel like wearing a mask somewhere. And I took Shani to PT one time down at the rehab place that we got here. That's not too far from where we're at now. And they're like, we want to take your temperature. We want to, we, you got to wear your mask. We want to take your temperature. I, I was like, look, I don't want to consent to anything medical. Why? I'm not here. I, I'm, I'm here with my wife. I, but you have to, you have to comply. Okay. No, and here's the reason why, because you cannot wear a mask in your house all the time. You know why? Because it's your property. It's your house. It's where you're living. If you go to a medical facility or a government building or anything like this, right? Out of your not property, you don't own it. You're not renting it. You're not, no, you're just there. You have to go by the policies and rules of the places that you enter. This is where the, the anti-mask people are wrong in being like activists and going out into a building without a mask. You have to abide by the rules of the building. And if they're telling you you need to wear a mask, guess what? They're going to toss you out, and they can because it's private property, and you're trespassing if you're not wearing a mask. It's that simple, okay? I am libertarian-minded, absolutely, constitutionalist. I love my mask. Then the patients can't see the faces I'm making when they act like jerks. That Hey, see? There's even a positive. You could make something positive out of it like that or or make a fashion statement out of your mask. I had a really cool... It was this Superman thing that, like, I think it was a head scarf, but I put it over my neck and I flip my hair out, and then I'd pull it up like that for a mask over my nose and mouth. I look like, and I put the cowboy hat on. It looked like Arthur Morgan. Like it was, it looked cool. Like make a fashion statement, make it fun. It sucks that you have to do it, but you do. You know, it's just part of it. But let me do this really quick. Uh, I didn't want to move the phone because it's perfect. But let me do this. I'm going to put all of the links in er, my stuff in here. Uh, PayPal. Uh, I, I hate asking for money, guys. You, you don't know how – because I only gave money. I never asked anybody for nothing because I didn't need it. I had it. Do you understand what I mean? I have to wear one of them every day at work because I work with the elderly. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's the way it's, I'm for, I'm for protecting people, uh, period. And, and, and it does have an, it has an effect, you know, it does help not spread disease. And, and we've known this since, you know, they were using masks back in the dark ages when they, okay, the Black Plague, they were covering their faces like this, okay? It's just true. It's not a matter of liberty and freedom. It's a matter of caring for people and, not, and, and just loving people and not getting them sick, okay? Even if you're not ill, and I get, I, oh, I'm not sick. I don't need a mask. Well, you might be brewing COVID and you don't got symptoms yet. And boom, you get them all of a sudden. Guess what? When you didn't have your mask on in the place being an asshole, you spread it to some old person that could die. I work in uh, nephrology, dialysis. I wear one always. Yeah, absolutely. And cancer patients, of course. The people that have compromised immune systems. You need to just care for people. And don't, don't make it about freedom and conspiracy theory and the new world order. Don't do that. It's just about keeping people safe. It is. I know I'm probably sounding like a Democrat, but I've been feeling like a Democrat lately. I'm going to be honest with you. The Republican Party is dead. 
The Republican Party is not sane in any sense of the world anymore. In, in any sense of the word. Rev, to get uh, help, you need to pin where folks can help. Uh, I'm tight on cash, but for others. Yeah, I understand why this guy, yeah, I'll pin it. Um, it's just, I'm sorry. In our description on the Instagram, it's just all of our in information for donating. So you got it right there. But I'm, I, I do want to make a comment with it. I'm trying to do this fast. I'm sorry. All right, Venmo. I apologize, guys. And like I said, I just hate doing this. But when I'm in need, I'm in need. And, and I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I have stuff that I'm doing on my end that I'm really trying to make things work. So it's just, there's really nice people out there and they do help. A lot of the times people do help. And we love you guys for that because it's the only reason we can really survive. I would have had some kind of psychotic break a long time ago if it wasn't for people like you that give. Um, I would really be screwed. So this is remain. This is for Shani because she's really sick, guys. She's she's flushed, and and she can't. She can barely. She can barely keep her head up right now. Um, all right, I got one more. I got to put in here. ASMR gaming. As Excuse me, ASMR Gaming. Okay, there we go. That's all of our things, and I'm going to pin that. I think that worked. Pin. Pinned. There we go. Okay. So that's all of our information there. Please let this go. That's perfect. I want to get a case. I want to get a phone case with a stand, bit, but for now, I'm using a spick and span box from probably the 1970s. <laughs> I'm in my grandma's house and there's there's some there's some old stuff around here, man. It's an old spick and span thing. Here, I'll show you, man. It's like, this is old, man. This is old spick and span. Holy crap, dude. From Faye's Drugstore here in, here in PA. That's like, that's old guys, okay? But that's what I'm using as my stand right now, is the spick and span box. But it's perfect. That's perfect. It's a perfect angle. You get the nice background. You got, you can see stuff. So anyway, I'm sorry. Can you guys believe what's going on with Trump? I mean, I, I, this, I've been alive now 39 years, Okay. I've paid attention to politics. Oh my God, is it a powder form? The spit, yeah, powder, spick and span. Yep, powder. There's some in there too. I think I think my uncle was using it to to clean some stuff in the kitchen here. Powder form. Do they not make the powder form anymore? They probably don't because it's probably used for something horrible, right? Like like I don't know, cooking meth or something. What a world. Yeah, it's old. It's old. I wish I could find an, a date on the box. I probably can. It's the, the date's probably somewhere on the box that, like, the year it came out. But I, I don't know. It would be considered an antique. I'm serious. It's probably from the 70s. It's That's nuts. Uh, they don't sell it anymore in the powder? Okay. Yeah, it's probably used for something bad. You know, these people take... I can't believe what people ingest for drugs these days, man. Like they, they cook products in their basement and, and like they, they throw some, I don't know, you know, Tylenol PM pills and melt it in there and like liquid Tylenol PM and chemicals. And then they sniff it and smoke it and, and shoot it. What are you doing? What? Please. Get help. If you're taking stuff like that, just find some weed or something. Get, get, just get, a, find weed. Don't, don't inject yourself with chemicals and holy crap, like crocodile, right? You inject that stuff and it eats your flesh away. Like what? Please don't do that to yourself. Don't, that's like, that's self-destruct. You're, you're putting yourself on self-destruct ingesting that stuff. You know what I mean? It's not good. But Trump, I can't believe this, guys. You have 46% of the country still says that they would vote for Trump. This is crazy. 
And the, the really crazy part of it is, is that we could, it, it's possible that we could have a guy elected president that, that's going to be in jail. What? Yeah, it's possible. If you talk to the legal ex experts, because me and Shani watch, uh, there's a channel called Midas Touch, and uh, they're definitely leftist. They're leftist. Uh, channel on YouTube, Midas Touch. I endorse them, though. I do. Uh, there's a guy, his name is Ben Mysalis. I, I like him a lot. I think he's a great presenter. Uh, I, I think his intentions are very good for everything. But they do pump up the Democrats and stuff like that. They do. And and I've been watching the Young Turks also. I've sweat, I've... You know who I was. Uh, every chance that I would get to say that I love Alex Jones and I think he's a hero, I was a big fan of Infowars, huge fan. And, and I, I was that close to having a, if I called them back, I would have had a job. I would have been Owen Schroyer. I was pretty much hired. Um, and I, I, I just didn't call them back. I didn't call Alex back. I, pr I don't know. I, I probably had tons of money now if I went for that. And also, they wanted me writing books like all the prophecy people. In it. His name is what? Ben? My salads? No. Ben? Like Benjamin? Ben? My salads. And his, I don't know. M-E-I-S-A-L-A-S. -S, something like that. He's Jewish. Pretty sure he's Jewish. Um, he runs this with his brothers. And they do podcasts. And uh, they have Michael Cohen on there, who is the former lawyer for Donald Trump that went to jail. He went to physical jail. Uh, Michael Cohen, who's cool. He's really funny. He curses like crazy. And, and he, 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 he has that real thick New York accent, you know, the Donnie, diap, diaper Donnie. Donnie in his diapers whining. He talks like that. He's great. He's funny. He's awesome, actually. <laughs> So it's, but it's a leftist channel and you know, I'm like conservative. I'm, I'm right. I'm not left, but I'm going to tell you this. I don't even know what the hell the Republican party is. If you, he, oh my God, Trump, Trump, Trump chose Marjorie Taylor Greene for his vice president. What? Trump chose Marjorie Taylor Greene to be his vice president. What? This woman believes in space lasers that it's possible to change elections. She believes that satellites can change votes. With no proof, I'd be willing to say, okay, maybe there are Russian Chinese satellites that could screw with our elections. There's zero proof of that. None. You can't just, uh, I could say, I could say, hey, they found a hamburger on Mars. That means there's life on Mars. That's it. It's true. Oh my God, there's life on Mars. There's a hamburger. Are you kidding me? This is where the conspiracy stuff goes in wet. Just ridiculous. It's stupid. Okay? If you're going to try and tell me that there's satellites changing votes during our elections, you need mental help. There's absolutely no proof of that. None. Okay? Stop that shit. But he, he chose this woman for his vice president. That, that really shows you where his mind is, man. Trump. I supported him 100% enthusiastically in 2016, but it's like he's a different person now. It's like he's a completely different person, and it's his narcissism and ego. He cannot take the fact that he didn't act right on Jan 6. He didn't. He screwed up royally on January 6. If, if you wanted peace, a peaceful transition of power, which he would never say that he wanted because he didn't, he would say, well, yeah, there'll be a transfer of power back to the administration that is me. 
You remember that at the press conference? It's ridiculous. Um, I don't know who you are. Sorry, you can't come on with me. I don't know. If I saw Teddy Bear pop in requesting to come on, I would definitely let him on. But I, I don't know who you are. Sorry. Um, the Republican Party is absolutely ridiculous. And I am a Republican. The last time I got my ID, <coughs> sorry, I had a cheesesteak, half of a cheesesteak. It was so good. Oh, my God, it's so good. This convenient mart that that's, uh, I, I walk to it every day. I got no ride. I'm walking everywhere. God bless the people down there because we have no EBT card, no money, nothing. And they, I go at 7 o'clock every night and they give me food. They give me their extra food that they didn't sell because it's going to be stale and they just give it to me. They're blessed people there. I never lived like this in my life, guys. I, I, was, a, I was a Nepo type kid. You know, I've never experienced it, but I was supposed to. I'm a Christian. Jesus didn't have anywhere to lay his head. I lost everything because God did that, okay? I shouldn't even put it on the trolls, okay? God did it because I was meant to experience wanting and not being able to get what you want and need whenever you want to because that's the world I was in. I... I Aside from buying things that are a million dollars, okay, I didn't have that much money. But I was able, to, if, if it was a new electronic device, yeah, I wanted it, I got it, no problem. That's how I lived because I was blessed with a mom that took care of her money and then she passed. What happened to the EBT card? We're just out of it. There's no more money left on it. Every month we get about to the 15th and then we're done. There's no money left. It's inflation. Everything is so expensive. A, a package of Reese's Pieces is $3. Are you kidding me? You get what? Yeah. It's not that they didn't take them away. Pray, oh, my God. Praise God. They didn't take them away. Mainly because they know I'm a... Uh, they, have, they're, they put new restrictions on uh, EBT cards like work requirements and stuff and I'm we're exempt from that because we're both mentally ill me and Shani both are and and like I said I got stuff going on in my background that I'm working on oh I know I'm off this week and it's going to be rough yeah inflation everything is so expensive it's insane so we get to the 15th of the month and then we're out of money that's what I'm saying. Anything you can do, guys, are things are I, I pinned it down there uh, or up there, wherever you would see it on uh, the live. Uh, our PayPal, our Venmo, and our Cash App is there. And God bless you. God bless you. Whoever can help, God bless you and thank you. Because Shani's in there right now. She's resting. She's trying. I, Mike Matai on. Mike Matai just put a video out today, F099. F Zero was one of my favorite games on Super NES. I, I, it may have been a launch title with SNES. I think it was close to launch. I'm not positive, but I think it was close to launch. Fi uh, Final Fight. That was a launch title. Oh my God! Now I want see. I got my SNES in there. Gee, praise God. Yo, I lost everything, man. But at least I got my SNES in there. With an EverDrive. I have my SNES with an EverDrive, which is every SNES game ever made. Okay. I got that. All I need is a CRT TV. All I need is a, and a small one. I just take a small CRT TV that has the RCA hookups, which is the red, the white, and the yellow. Red, white, yellow cable. Right. That's SNES. I have played some SNES games and calm down. Because that is therapeutic. It is. Pop on Final Fight, beat it. Ugh. I feel better. Final Fight 2 and 3 is on there. All of them are on there. I love it. It's so good. I just need a CRT TV. A small one. I don't want a Trinitron. Those, I love that TV. A Sony Trinitron. It's amazing. Beautiful CRT TV. But they weigh probably 170 pounds. It's like they weigh more than me. I uh, took my kids for their eye exam today, and it's supposed to be BOGO. Buy one, get one free. But since their insurance covered their glasses, a free pair wasn't allowed. What the? Oh, come on. That, hmm. I can see why, but still, they should give, they should. 
No. I call BS. So you should get an extra pair. So I, I'm doing the next thing because I got a little bit of... Bleh. But I've been walking a lot because I have to. And I think that's been helping my indigestion. Yeah, it is BS. I agree with you. It is BS. Just because it's it's covered... Um, just because it's covered by insurance doesn't mean that you should uh, not get, uh, you know, you should get the second pair. It's the deal, right? Just because you didn't have to pay your own, they're still getting paid from the insurance guy. Exactly. Why is that different than you had given them your, your debit card and charging it to your debit card with, with your cash? You get the BOGO. Why didn't you get the BOGO? Because it's just insurance. Yeah, I agree. That's that's bullshit. I totally agree with you. Uh, I'm all over the place here, but it's crazy that we have we have a party that's putting a guy. We have a guy that that's he has 91 charges in four different cases. 91 different charges, all of which have, like, for each count, at least a five-year prison sentence. How many... Now, I'm. This, is, this goes to, like, if a Trumper... I'd like... Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. If, a, if somebody that supports Donald Trump is in here and would like to join with me, and we'll talk about it, Please do. I will add you. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I could do that though. I might. Uh, I, maybe I shouldn't do that because I don't know what you'll show if I bring you on here. You, you shoot your computer with porn on it. I know how this works. It's not my first rodeo. Never mind. I don't need you. To, I know your stances because I was a Trumper. Okay. There is no logical world that exists in any universe, if there's a multiverse, where it makes sense for the Republican Party to put a guy that has four different indictments and 91 different charges on his head and, put, and, and elevate him and put him on the pedestal of this is who we're going to nominate to be the choice for president for the Republican Party. This is insane. And Donald Trump is not eligible to run for president at all because of the 14th Amendment, Section 3, which states implicitly that if you had anything to do with an insurrection, you may not hold office ever, anywhere, state or federal. You're done. You can't. Okay? He's fraudulently running to try and feel like he's getting out of all of this crap that's over his head. You're not. He's trying to try this case in the public with his Truth Social account. That's not lawful. He's using evidence, and I'm sure he's going to do that. I, I don't think he's done this yet, okay? But he is going to use discovery evidence against people, which is against the law. He likes, he, he's lawless. He is an absolutely lawless individual. I wanted to believe that all of this stuff about him was not true because I voted for him in 2016. I liked how tough he was about New World Order, that he doesn't like it. He doesn't like globalism. No, he's a racist nationalist. That's not good either. Okay? You got... Why can't we just agree, all of us, that this is freaking America where... It's always been the case that we welcomed everybody. It didn't matter who, what country or color you are. It's about if you love freedom. If you love freedom, you are welcome here. Period. Now the border, it's a mess. Kids in cages, all this crazy stuff. It's horrible. And, and should we throw everybody out that came here illegally? <laughs> Come on. That's ridiculous and that's not going to happen. So we should welcome people to this country. It doesn't matter what color, color, creed, religion, whatever you are. And he wants, 
Trump wants to ban communists from coming in the country. How the hell are you going to do that, Donald? If you believe in communist ideology, that's a personal belief that's covered under the First Amendment. We happen to not be a communist country, which, which you may be sad about not being communist, or you might be happy we're not communist. That doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is we're a capitalist country, and that's what you're living in, okay? Well, crony capitalist. Rigged capitalism. Capitalism for the billionaires. That's the capitalism we're living in. Look at the UAW workers, okay? You mean to tell me that Ford, how much, how much money did Ford make last year net worth? How much did they add to their net worth? And you're telling me that you can't pay these workers 40% more over four years? That's what they want. They want 40% more pay over a four-year period. You can't do that? Then I'll tell you what. If you can't do that, Ford, GM, all you fucking pieces of shit corporations, if you can't do that, we should live in a communist society. Because if we have capitalism, it's going to bring great money and it's going to bring great growth. Absolutely fantastic. Let's do that. But you must take care of your people. Our country has so much fucking wealth there should not be a single, not one homeless person or somebody that can't put food in their mouth. And I don't give a shit if they have a job, okay? Some people are not capable of work. They're just not for whatever reason, okay? You're looking at one ear. I, I mean, you call this working, and it is. I think it is. It's, it's streaming is a new career, you know? And I'm capable of this, and I want to do it, and I want to try and make money, you know? So I have to. In, in a perfect world, we'd have no money. You wouldn't have to worry about uh, uh, rent and all this shit. You wouldn't have to worry about that. We'd just be living our lives. We send too much money to other countries when we should be taking care of our own. Yes, Gucci trolls. Oh, my goodness. Huh. How much money have we sent to Ukraine? I'm getting a little worked up. I'm sorry. Why the hell are we giving any money to Ukraine? Why? Oh, it's Russian expansion. It's like World War II. We had, who the hell is saying this? Democrats are saying that. It's insane, isn't it? I thought Republicans were the party of war. Weren't they? Wasn't it the reply? But they're they're starting to support. They're supporting it pretty much. I, well, the, the Rhino Republicans love war, man. Neocons. Oh, more money and blood. Death Incorporated, America, with three Ks in it. Not America with a C. Three Ks. The people who come here get free insurance, money to start a business, et cetera, and we get nothing. Isn't that crazy? That ain't right. That's something that shouldn't be. I, I am all for helping people, man. But, but, but let's start with the citizenry, okay? I want everybody helped. But the citizenry should get the help first. That's the absolute fact, okay? And then we take care of the immigrants that come in here. But come legally, yeah. The green card, yeah. I'm for legal immigration. The border crossing stuff, you get yourself killed, guys. The, but, but in a lot of cases, they're fleeing from horrible things. You know, they're fleeing from really bad shit. So there's, there needs to be a level of compassion on that, too. It's like, I don't want an open border. Hell no. I'm for border security, absolutely. I'm conservative on that. I, you... You must have borders to be a country. You're not a country if you don't have borders, okay? You need that. You do. And, and we need security at the border. I'm all for that, absolutely. If you want to build a wall, build a wall. That's for the. I think that's something that we should vote on in the country. And, and if, if it's, you know, 70% of the people say, let's build a wall, build a wall. But, I mean, the wall's a joke. That, that whole concept of it was a joke. They showed some pictures of fencing and stuff. 
what, what's his name? Brian, Brian Setzer or Seltzer or whatever, the, the press secretary for Trump. They had pictures of the wall. It was like a little fence. People were making holes in the first day and coming through. It's a joke. Okay. But, but I'm for border security. Absolutely. If you don't have borders, you don't got a country. So, uh, it's a mess. The American political landscape right now is the most, it's insane. I've never seen anything like this in my life, definitely. It's the craziest time in American politics ever. It's insane. I'm really hoping though, guys, because the main reason I did do the stream was that, that I need to raise some money to get some medicine for Shani. So I'm really hoping somebody out there you know, can find it. And, and if you got it, I'm not asking you if you don't got it. Um, that's, and don't feel bad if you don't got it. I'm in that position. I'm with you. I can't give nobody nothing because I got nothing. Okay. I'm asking for Shani because she is ill. She's sick and she needs some medicine and I, and it's getting later. So I, I really would appreciate it if you could help me out. It's pinned up there. Uh, the, my PayPal, the Venmo, our PayPal Venmo, and Cash App is, is right up there. So anybody, I love you guys. You know, the people that, this is a good stream. We've got a couple people in here that are really good chatters. And I appreciate you. Um, but she's she's sick, guys. She's hot. She's warm. Um, pray for her. Pray for her to feel better. That's that's what she needs. And, and um, we're going to come, I, I hope, if Shani feels good enough to do it, and maybe I'll just do it myself. Um, we're going to start doing videos on the crime and gaming channels, and uh, we'll see how it goes. You know what I mean? I love you guys. Um, pray for me. Pray for Shani. Pray for the country. I, I don't know where this goes with politics, man. We're going to have one party. Because the Republican Party is a joke. The leadership is a joke. Absolute joke. So you got one party. Do you know what happens in a country when it's led by a single party in their political system? Oh, yeah. You are going to get one of the worst despotic leaders you've ever seen in this country the next time. When this happens and the, and the Republican Party is gone and there's no alternative, I don't even want to talk about the type of stuff that happens in a country like that, okay? But I think America's going to find out. Because we couldn't come up with anything better than, oh my God. And I look, I even like Joe Biden. I'm going to straight up say it. I like him basically. Do I support his political stances on a lot of things? No, of course not. But am I for taking care of people? Am I for a living wage if you work? Yeah, I'm for that. And I don't know how Republicans could be against that, but they are in a way. If you're fighting unions so bad that are trying to get better wages for workers, that tells me that you don't like the worker that much, okay? And that's coming from a Republican. I am a Republican, okay? I don't know why we're anti-unions. I understand that unions can cause problems. Of course they can. I understand. And when those times are there, you take care of the problem, right? The corruption or whatever's going on. But people need a living wage. People are forced to work three, four, five jobs. What the hell is going on in the country? We got to get things straight, guys. And I don't know what the hell the answer is. I don't. Pray for the country. Jesus Christ is Lord. I love you guys. And please, if you can, my pay, our PayPal is at Shanny Needs Love. Our Venmo is Jason dash, at Jason Egrov. 
and our cash app is ASMR Gaming. Hashtag ASMR Gaming. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. God bless you if you can help us. Because Shani needs it. She really does. I just heard her moaning in there. She does not feel good, guys. I love you. Take care. God bless.